Good morning. Children, today I am going to read a story to you. The name of the story is The Giving Tree. The author is Shel Silverstein. Once there was a tree and she loved a little boy. And every day the boy would come and he would gather her leaves and make them into crowns and play king of the forest. He would climb up her trunk and swing from her branches and eat apples. And they would play hide and go seek. The boy would hide behind a stone and the tree will put her branches out and find the boy. So they were very happy playing with each other. When he was tired, he would sleep in her shade. And the boy loved the tree very much. And the tree was happy, very happy. As time went by, the boy grew up. He grew older and made a friend, a girl. As the boy spent more time with her with the girl, the tree was left alone and often sad now. Then one day, the boy came to the tree. He is now a little grown up. And the tree said, Come boy, come and climb up my trunk and swing from my branches, eat apples and play in my shed and be happy. Boy said, I am too big to climb and play. I want to buy things and have fun. I want some money. Can you give me some money? I am sorry, but I have no money. I have only leaves and apples. Take my apples, boy, and sell them in the city. Then you will have money and you will be happy. And so the boy climbed up the tree and gathered her apples and carried them away. And the tree was happy because she could help the boy. But the boy stayed away for a long time and the tree was sad. Then one day the boy came back and the tree shook with joy and said, Come boy, climb up my trunk and swing from my branches and be happy. The boy, now a grown up man, I am too busy to climb trees. I want a house to keep me warm. He said, I want a wife, I want children. And so I need a house. Can you give me a house? I have no house. The forest is my house. But you can cut off my branches and build a house. Then you will be happy. And so the boy cut off her branches and carried them away to build his house. And the tree was very happy. But the boy stayed away for a long time and when he came back, the tree was happy. So happy that she could hardly speak. Come boy, she whispered. Come and play. I am too old and sad to play.
said the boy. I want a boat that will take me away from here. Can you give me a boat? The boy, now an old man, is grumpy and sad and he wants to leave the city, the leave the place and go to a different land where riding the boat. Cut off my trunk and make a boat, said the tree. Then he will can sail away and be happy. So the boy cut down her trunk and made a boat and sailed away. And the tree was happy. But not really. Not really. How can someone, some tree be happy when her branches are gone, her leaves are gone, her fruits are gone, even the trunk is also gone. And after a long time, the boy came back again. This time, he is very old. I'm sorry, boy, said the tree. I have nothing left to give you. My apples are gone. My teeth are too weak for apples, said the boy. My branches are gone. You cannot swing on them. I am too old to swing on your branches, said the boy. My trunk is gone. How can you climb? I am too tired, too tired to climb. I am sorry, said the tree. I wish I could give you something, but I have nothing left. I am just an old stump. I am sorry. I don't need much very now, very much now. Just a quiet place to sit and rest. I am very tired. Well, said the tree, straightening herself up as much she could do. Well, an old stump is good for sitting and resting. Come boy, come and sit down. Sit down and rest. And the boy did. And the tree was very happy. So you see, the trees are always giving us and we are never tired of taking from them till the time they die. Save our trees, save the Mother Earth.